Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable Windows Defender browser protection in the Google Chrome web browser. So while there is built-in phishing and malicious website protection capabilities in the Chrome browser, I'm going to show you guys how to actually enhance or add another layer over that with the Windows Defender browser extension that's offered. So it just offers another level of protection basically and we're going to go ahead and hopefully show you guys how to do this. So this tutorial I believe would apply for pretty much anybody who's using Google Chrome so I think this would actually work on a Macintosh device too. I haven't actually tested it on a Mac but I don't see why I wouldn't. It'd be kind of interesting to actually have somebody try it out but I'm going to have a link in the description video. I want you guys to go get it from the direct source in the Chrome web store here. You can see there's over 900,000 users of this, so it's definitely going up over the past time since I have seen this page. So if you scroll down here, you can see protect yourself against online threats like phishing and malicious websites with real-time protection from Microsoft. So again, it's pretty much so web filter, so you can see continuously updated lists of harmful sites. And you can see recent updates here, so it even works on Chromebooks too. And that's pretty cool, honestly. So definitely something that I would take a look at and we're going to go ahead and install it. So go ahead and select add the Chrome. Select add extension. And there you go guys. Simple as that. It's been turned on. You can see the previews of it if you selected the overview. You can see what it would look like on your screen. So nothing really too crazy to explore at that point. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you click on the little extension icon, if you just love click on it, you have the ability to send feedback as well as report suspicious websites in here too. And you also have an option to demonstrate this extension's protection. So if you just were to left click on it, like we were talking about, it's going to give you a demonstration here. So if you're curious what it's going to actually look like, you can go ahead and select one of these options here. So let's go select both. So let me just open both of these up in a new tab here. And you can see a malware website. It appears it would this is what it would come back with here. Or, you know, it looks like these pages might actually be a little bit broken uh, because I don't actually see anything coming up in this demonstration. There we go. Okay, I guess it doesn't work if you try to open it up in a new tab, but there we go. We were able to make it work here, and it shows us what it will look like if it has been reported as unsafe. So it's pretty clear as day that you probably don't want to continue on here, but if you can or if you want to, you can always select more information and then disregard and continue, which is not recommended. But Again, it looks pretty similar to Chrome's built-in filter too, and even Firefox while we're at it. And honestly, even the smart screen filter in Internet Explorer, even though I don't think too many people are still using Internet Explorer, but there's even a very similar feature in there, so it's a pretty universal design. But definitely a cool feature here to highlight. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.